Flood waters in Hungary continued to rise Friday as authorities closed roads and rail stations, and ferry services along the Danube River halted. In the capital, Budapest, water spilled over the city's lower keys and threatened to reach tram and metro lines. Some transport services were suspended. Further upriver, in a region known as the Danube Bend, homes and restaurants near the riverbanks were inundated. Nearly 6,000 professionals, including members of Hungary's water authority and military, were mobilized, and prison inmates were involved in filling sandbags, Prime Minister Viktor Orban said at a news conference Thursday. The Danube stood at over 771 centimeters, approaching the 891 centimeter record set during major flooding in 2013. Українські представники сказали, що а, максимум а, паводку буде в суботу. В суботу ввечері ще вода підніметься на пів метра, а, half, half meter, meter. і це дуже погано, що такий паводок є постраждалі, і є навіть загиблі люди. Але я думаю, що влада Чехії, Польщі, Угорщини, Румунії. Україна також справиться з цією негодою, з цією бідою, з цим о, циклоном Борис. Борис тут прийшов на це. Я думаю, все буде добре. І настане мир в Україні, все буде добре. Flood waters continued to rise in Hungary on Thursday as authorities shut down roadways, rail stations and ferries along the Danube River. In the capital, Budapest, water spilled over the city's lower keys and threatened to reach transport infrastructure like trams and metro lines. The high water level was visible opposite Hungary's parliament building in Budapest with some street signs partially submerged by the Danube. Further upriver, in a region known as the Danube Bend, homes and restaurants near the riverbanks were inundated as officials and volunteers continued to place sandbags to reinforce levees. Nearly 6,000 professionals, including members of Hungary's water authority and military, have been mobilized to assist in flood preparations, Prime Minister Viktor Orban said in a news conference Thursday morning. The Danube rose nearly 1 meter in 24 hours, and by Thursday morning stood at 771 centimeters, approaching the 891 centimeter record set during major flooding in 2013.